right, we are back at the trike. I know I got the uh, fender uh, and the light mostly cleaned up. I put it in the easy off and a lot of it came out, um, came off real good. So when we spray that with the uh, Molotow, it should come out real nice. I'll probably do a little bit more to that headlight, try to get some of the white off there. But uh, overall, it came out real good. And the guide pin came in, guide pin came in. So we are in good shape. I think today I'm gonna to work on getting the uh, axle uh, on that gear there so we can start um, start getting this thing together. Um, what else we got going on? I did have a couple of things coming from home. Watch out, watch out. Come on, London, watch out. Good boy. That's the new addition to the family right there in London. He's a uh, Siberian Husky. Great dog, great dog. Just love him to death right now. Uh, my wife got me a couple of these. Uh, they're the uh, um, ones that haven't been mounted. They don't have any accents on them. I think since I already have them in my collection, I've got the uh, brown um, vet and I got the uh, mock one. I, I got those already. I think I'm gonna um, spray those with the Molotow and uh, make them the, the silver. I love them. I love them like that. I think uh, when they come out with that Molotow and they're all chromed out like that, I'm, I, I'm gonna dig them. I'm gonna dig them. And here's something that came in. Uh, VRP, a lot of you guys uh, have told me about this. This is my first time using it. It's vinyl, rubber, or plastic. It helps um, restore the normal luster to them. Like if uh, you want to do tires or if you want to do plastics like um, T-Jets, <laughs> like T-Jets. So I'm going to try it on some of these that have a good shine, but it, let's just see if it works a little bit better or get a little bit more shine on some of them. So that's the reason I got it. Uh, the funny thing is, is when I told my wife about this, she goes, oh really? Do you think it'll work on my Cooper? <laughs> of course it will. I'll, I'll have to uh, demonstrate it for her, I'm sure. And the other thing I got going on today is, um, I know I told you guys about this, uh, it came in and I'm getting ready to send it back. I'm gonna document that. Uh, um, eBay, you gotta hand it to them. They jumped in, they guarantee that I will get a refund, even though, the seller says clearly, just flatly, he says, no refunds. Well, eBay's guaranteeing I'm getting my money back. So I just print out the shipping label and I'll pack that up. And again, I'm gonna document that. So we got some fun things going on today, guys. Got some fun things going on. I can't wait to get into the, um, the Thunderbike trike thing here. Can't wait to do that. All right, let me go and get set up. All right, good. I just want to get this out of the way. I've got a, a new box here to uh, do the shipping with. And again, this is just to make sure that everything that I do is going to be documented. That, that's all. I'll tell you what, uh, this goes along with the previous video about be careful when you guys are on um, eBay. He listed it as a um, Riviera, but all the pictures were of a um, Ford Galaxy, you know, Ford Galaxy. So um, again, be careful. You, you never. If um, somebody made a mistake, if they're trying to do a, a bait and switch, I just don't know. So, um, again, thank goodness for eBay stepping up and saying, hey, listen, you're going to get a refund. I don't mind uh, paying, I think it was like $50 or whatever it was. I don't mind paying that, but I want the thing that I think I'm going to get, you know. It, it just it just wasn't right. It just absolutely wasn't right. Okay, let me get some uh, packing material here. Some there we go. That, that should be good. And I'll set this aside uh, just for fun. I'll put each one of these into a uh, separate little Ziploc, then we'll put some bubble wrap around there. Uh, eBay tells you, they say, uh, hey, listen, make sure that when you ship it, it's going to be shipped, you know, um, and packed right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just making sure everything is going to be. You know, nothing, nothing can get damaged. That, that'd be the worst thing. You know, if you're trying to ship it back and, you know, um, things get damaged. So let's just go ahead and pack it right, you know. So those are both in Ziplocs. And I've got some bubble wrap over here. Let's do this. Double that bubble wrap up there. There you go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some tape on there. And just for fun, I like to tape both ends. I don't think it's going to slip out. 
but no one can say, hey, you know, uh, you didn't take the lens and it's can you know, slide up. No, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. There you go. So that's double bubble wrapped and sealed on both ends. Very good. Same thing with the body. Let's do the body the same way. We'll double our bubble wrap up. I, I, I was uh, looking at the uh, Riviera, nothing against the Riviera, I, I like the Riviera, I was just expecting the Galaxy, you know what? Um, and quite frankly, um, the whole time that the uh, Riviera and the chassis have been here, I've been just like wanting to jump on it and clean it up and you know, make, make it mine, but it's not, it's not what I ordered, so it's going back, it's going back. Let's get this in the box, get it in there, nice and good. So they're both bubble wrapped individually. We have the big bubble packaging around it. So that looks really good, right? I mean, that's, that's got to be good. Nothing's jiggling around. Nothing's moving around. Nothing like that. So we're doing good. We're doing good. Let's go ahead and get the first piece on here. Okay, good. All right. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, good. Last thing we have to do is, no, nope, I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm going to have to open that up. Uh, eBay says put the, um, uh, what is it, packing slip in there. So uh, let's just go ahead and open it up. That's my fault. I should have, I should have uh, realized that was sitting over there. Let's open it up, put that in, then we should be good to go. that this packing slips right on top so when he opens it you'll see it and know exactly what it is okay now let's reseal it <laughs> let's re Good. Very good, David. Okay. And um, I'm not going to uh, put his name out there, so let me do this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tape it down. I'm going to turn the camera off now. But uh, for all intents and purposes, it's ready to go. Just a sec. Okay, I just thought about it. Uh, I can blur the name out with the uh, software I got. So that's it. That's the package. That's it. It's ready to go. So I've documented, hey, listen, uh, I'm, I'm sending it back. Um, and uh, I've got it on. I've got it on video, so I'm doing my due diligence. If this goes any further, not in my favor. I've got. I've got some proof here. Okay, let's get on to um, some of the projects we got going on today. All right, back in the bench. Back in the bench. I just took the uh, guide pin out. Looks like it's in great shape. And I got a my uh, hand drill here. I'm going to try to bore out that hole a little bit to where we can get the uh, axle uh, to slide through that hole. We might, if, if um, I don't know, if the hole gets bored out too much, I'm thinking we might have to solder it to the center there. But if we bored out just enough and we can probably tap it through, that might be the best angle. Let me go ahead and start trying to bore it out just a little bit. Bored that hole out just a, a, a little bit, only took a minute or so. And it's it slides on the axle very nicely. There's not enough grip on it to keep it centered the way I want, so we're going to have to, if I can find my uh, soldering iron, we're gonna, we're gonna solder it, or if I can't find my soldering iron, we're gonna glue it, but we've gotta adhere that uh, gear to that back axle, that's next. I'm looking for the soldering iron, I'm done looking, I'm just gonna, just for fun, uh, we're gonna find the center of it, put some glue in the center of the axle, and then slide the uh, gear on. I'm tired of looking for the soldering iron right now. All right, good. Got that axle and the gear drying over there. Next, I want to go ahead and do the um, guide pin. I want to get the guide pin in, make sure that fits snug just like it should. All right, good. The uh, guide pin is in. I had to take the front clamp off. That allows me to widen the uh, front forks there to get that guide pin in, but it, it's in like it should be. So uh, we are gaining on it, guys. 
All right, good, time to address the uh, front axle there. I got a uh, short axle, I know it's gonna have to be cut down, so we'll, we'll put the hub on there and we'll see how much we need to uh, cut off of it. We'll just we'll just snip it off and sand it, uh, sand the end that we uh, trimmed off and should come out real nice. Okay, I measured and I snipped down the uh, axle to make a short one to fit on the bike there. So I'm gonna put that through the uh, hub and get it on the uh, chassis, probably put the fender and light on as well. Well, it's looking better. It's looking better. Just for fun, let's do this. Yeah, that sounds good. Doesn't that, doesn't that sound really good? Yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're gonna have to take a little pause here with this. I'm gonna wait for the uh, back gear and axle to get completely dry and hard, and then we'll pick up after that. Okay, just for fun, I, well, everything's drying over there. I thought I'd use the uh, VRP and see if we uh, see if we can shine one of these up and see how it goes. I don't know which one I'm going to use. Maybe a vet. I tell you what. I tell you what, the, the Cougar here. I've had this one since I was a kid. I think this is quite frankly one of the first slot cars I ever picked out at each and each hobby shop when uh, we were fortunate enough to have our mom take us down there. So let's do this. I'll take some before and afters and um, see if we can get this thing um, really shined up. All right, just read the directions. It says shank well and uh, really work it into the area that you're doing and just let it dry and wipe off the excess. Uh, pretty straightforward. So hope I'm getting it. You see the uh, scratches on the roof and everything? I wonder if we can get those out. Let's see. Let, let's, let, let's go ahead and get this on there and see what we can do. Got a couple drops of the uh, VRP on there. I'm going to go ahead and rub it in now. All right, good. Only, only took just a, a minute. Um, it's covered right now. I'm going to let it dry and start wiping some of the excess off. Boy, I worked into the plastic real good. Uh, there's still some residuals on there. I got a lot of it wiped off. We're just going to go ahead and uh, let it dry, then I'll go ahead and buff it out. Just got it done, it's been dry for a little bit, polished it up, uh, looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up, guys. It didn't get rid of all the scratches, but as far as giving the plastic an overall nice shiny luster, I mean, look at the hood, look at the hood. It looks really, really, really good. So the um, VRP stuff, once again, give it a thumbs up, good stuff. I had to put it on the track for a second, you know what? I'm just looking at the uh, lights, uh, hitting the uh, hood and everything as they go by looking strong looking absolutely strong again i'm sure my wife is going to have me use the uh, vrp on the cooper that she has there but again real good stuff okay where we're at is the uh, gear is pretty much on the back axle there to get it on the uh, back of the thunder bike we're going to have to discombobulate it enough to where we can slide that in and then have to uh, put it back together with that already in there. Shouldn't be too hard. I've done it before on the uh, other one I got over here. I had to make the same procedure. So again, it should not be too hard, but that's what we have to do next now that we have that gear on that back axle there. Pretty good. Got the real axle and gear in. They line up pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the hubs on there and um, we're, this is getting pretty close to being around the track, guys. Uh, I'm getting excited about this. We gotta get the idle gear back in, but everything snapped together very, very well. I'm, I, I, this is really cool. I'm getting excited. Here's where we're at. I got the uh, front hub and tire on. I got the uh, light, the fender on, idle gear in, both the uh, clamps, and uh, let me grab the transformer. It's time to test it, guys. It is time to test it. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Okay, good. Right over here. Right. 
that's working. That's working real good. That's working real good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, the um, pumps are next. Let me go ahead and get those on. I'll probably use my um, uh, 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 clamp or uh, vice over here to put them on evenly. Evenly. Let me go ahead and get that on next. I was just looking at it. It's too funny. Look how wide it is. Uh, before I got it on the vice, I just put them on my fingers. And I'm thinking, you know, if it was this wide, it'd never tip over. It'd never tip over. Uh, right, it's got some power to it. So let me, again, I'm getting ready to hear, uh, put those on the vise, crank it down evenly, and we'll see if we can get it uh, just where we want it. Boy, just looking at how the uh, back gear is lining up, looking pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Let's do this, it is track time, guys. Make sure it's on. Transformers. There we go. We, oh my God, boy, it's got some speed too. I thought it would, I thought it would can't even open it up wow that looks nice all right guys for all intents and purposes we have a trike we have a trike okay good the rest is literally cosmetic we got this thing to work we got it to work looking very good what's left we have the guy doesn't have a head and we have to make the gas tank after that we should be in good shape very good I just had to put the driver on there. I really did. Okay, uh, the next thing is we gotta do the head, the gas tank, that kind of stuff. But uh, for all intents and purposes, we do have a trike. Is it done? No, but we've got a trike and it runs absolutely wonderful. All right, guys, this will do it for part two of the trike. Again, next part, all cosmetic stuff. We'll be making some repro stuff and I've got some uh, cool stuff I'm gonna do, not just making the head, but uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. See ya.